Hi. Hello. I'll be Lufthansa. I'm sorry, the gate is closed. Well, could you just open it? Nine. How's it going, everyone? JKX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today is update 19 reveal day. In today's video, I'm going to give you all of the information you need to know about update 19, which is releasing this week. The new cars of this update will start releasing this Thursday, this week, then next week, and the week after. I've just finished watching the live stream, so we know all of the new cars that are coming this week and the new features and bug fixes and stuff like that. Everything you need to know is in this video. We're going to get right into it in just a minute with all of the new cars and this month's new festival playlist. Just quickly before we do, I don't plug this very often. Go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you haven't already. I'll have them on screen right now. I never plug that, so I thought I would. And also, if you enjoy this video and it's helpful, consider subscribing. That's all I'm going to say. Let's get right into it with this month's new cars and new stuff. Update 19. So, a bit off topic, the first new car we are getting this week is the Lego Chiron. Believe it or not, we're getting another addition to the Lego expansion. If you own the Lego expansion, there will be a new race appear on your map in the top right hand corner. Um, you, you can find it and it basically just allows you to race against the Lego Chiron and win it. That's as simple as that. The Lego Chiron is one of the new cars in the game this update. Now there is a new monthly rivals with the Lego Chiron in it, so if you don't have a Lego expansion, you can do this monthly rivals and play with a Lego Chiron that way instead. Now for the new festival playlist. Now there are four new cars this month, not including the Lego Chiron, and some of them are pretty cool. So for the entire series at 50% completion, you'll unlock the ATS GT 2018, and then at 80% completion, the BMW E92 M3 GTS. Both of them are new cars. However, in the first week starting this Thursday, summer, for 50% completion, the first new car, the Lexus LFA, has finally returned. The thing I will say about this car is I'm expecting a lot of outroar about this car if it doesn't sound good. But anyway, at 80% for that season, you'll get the Porsche 917 LH and then in an exclusive championship you can unlock the new Rover SD1, the second new car of this month. Moving on to the next season which is autumn, the second week. At 50% completion you can unlock the 488 Pista which is a sort of a new car but not new to this month, it would be good to get that again. And then at 80% completion the Porsche 718 GTS. Now in autumn, the second week, we're also getting a new showcase remix as well, that's worth mentioning. Now the third week, which is winter, another two cars in this season. At 50% completion, we can get the Aston Martin Vulcan AMR Pro, the car in the thumbnail of this video. That is unlocked at 50%, that's the third new car for this month. 80% completion, the Porsche 906, and then the fourth new car, which is unlocked through an exclusive championship in winter, the Ford Supervan 3. Now the interesting thing about some of these is quite a few of these are on the leaked car list, including the Lego Chiron. So this also confirms that the leaked car list seemed to be real. The Lego Chiron was on there. Um, I believe the Aston Martin Vulcan was on there. Um, I think the Supervan was leaked at some point as well. And there was something last month which was added that was on the leaked car list as well. So the leaked car list is seeming pretty good. But anyway, onto the last week, which is spring. 50% you can get the Porsche 356 XL and then at 80% the Lotus Elise 99. I apologize if I'm looking down here quite a lot. I'm reading all of the new cars off the notes on my phone. So yeah, four new cars this month. Um, the Lexus LFA, the Aston Martin, the Rover and the Ford Supervan. And then the Lego Chiron as well. So technically five new cars. I'm quite glad that the Lexus LFA has returned. Now something else we're getting this update is it's worth mentioning um, they are doing more exclusive Forzathon shop deals this Friday for Valentine's Day. If you're on Forza on Friday for Valentine's Day there will be some super cheap deals in the Forzathon shop for some really cheap cars. I may do a video on this in the next couple of days talking about what cars you can get on Friday and for how cheap. But that's going to be good to look forward to because there are some really good deals on there sometimes. So yeah. We'll look forward to that Friday, but some other things that have been added. So just like last month, they have added kind of a new car pack to the Eliminator series. You may remember last month, they added 10 kind of big heavy vehicles to the Eliminator to kind of spice it up a little bit. 
Well, this month they've added 10 police type vehicles to the Eliminator. Screenshot of screen, on screen right now of what they gave us. You can see it's full of police cars, some of which you can't actually get in the normal game, I believe. So to put it short, I believe there's one new car in each level tier of the cars in the Eliminator, if that makes sense. All of which have working police lights, including the Crown Victoria, which seems to have been fixed now. So in the Eliminator, there's 10 new cars that you are able to get. Um, by leveling up and stuff like that within the Eliminator, all of which are police type cars from like the Veyron, all sorts of different cars as well. This is probably what the police cars hints kind of meant in the um, Torben Tuesday a couple of days ago. So it'd be quite cool to see what cars we get in the Eliminator there. Now a couple of fixes and kind of mini update things. I'll just get them on my phone to read them out again now. They've added a small new UI to the Eliminator. When you're doing a head-to-head, -head, you can kind of see what car level you are and see stuff like that, just to help out a little bit. So the new UI. And then a few bug fixes, which I'll read out now. They have fixed some Eliminator achievements not working. They have fixed an issue where player houses would disappear after you've already bought them. They have fixed the issue where sometimes subtitles on the screen would duplicate. Nobody wants that. They've also fixed an issue where players using the metric system are unable to get three stars on a certain story. Very weird. But they've fixed that and various other performance stability updates as well. But as for the update, that's basically everything. We've got the five new cars, one of them being Lego. We've got the new el Eliminator vehicles being added. We've got the new um, Lego races. We've got the bargain buy Forzathon shop thing which is going to come this Friday which I may do another video on and then all the fixes and bugs and bits of bobs like that. So this update is going to be out within the next couple of days and these new cars are going to be obtainable from this Thursday the Lexus LFA to start with. Cannot wait for that. Yeah but yeah leave a like if you've enjoyed let me know what you think to this update it's going to be a pretty good one. Subscribe if you haven't already for more thoughts about more content. I'll see you all later.